we gon' burn it down. Burn, burn it down. We gon' burn it down. Burn, burn it down. Hey guys, welcome to Cosplay Life. I'm Air Bear, and today you're watching part two of the Taka leotard. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I glued on the lava pieces and how I finished up my Taka outfit. If you are looking for part one, check the description box. I'm getting my boxes right. Check the description box for a link to that video. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and stay tuned so you can see how I finish up Taka. Well, at least the leotard anyway. There's still two other videos for the mask and the skirt. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I have the leotard. It's basically done, except for this weird velcro that I need to fix. So the next step is to get like a piece of my leftover fabric, cut a strip or cut like cut in it, and lay it over and see if that looks like what I want. So here's some fabric. It's really stretch. I wish I was going this way, so I want to cut this way. I made three cuts into it. Oh, that looks pretty cool. And I can maybe even put some red in there. And then there was planned other, which was uh, to put red, red fabric down on it. I guess I should have looked at that before just jumping straight to let's cut it open. Okay, so let me try this. All right, so now I think it's time to look at some pictures of Taka and figure out which one's better. This or this. So I went back to the store and I bought, bought one and a half yards of this fake leather. It came from the like the home furnishings section and it has like this texture on it. There was a better texture one, but it was kind of like brownish a little bit and I wanted to make sure it was black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it into like little puzzle pieces and then glue those onto that. That is kind of what it's gonna look like, but it's going to be all over, so. Like just imagine that all over. Next comes the part that I've been kind of avoiding this whole time. I have the suit on and I'm going to work on gluing these lava pieces on. And these lava pieces are just pieces of leather. So yeah, I'm gonna work on gluing them and figuring out a method for gluing them because right now I have none. So I have my Mod Podge fabric glue. Not really sticking on the edges like I want it to. I need something that's immediately sticky. Making the hot glue. Alright, so now I have the hot glue done. I'm gonna try that instead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I have a piece of that five millimeter thick craft foam underneath it. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep cutting pieces and keep gluing them. To glue it, I'm using fabric hot glue. See, it's a different type of glue stick. And then to cut, that's not right. But what I'm gonna do to cut it is I'm just gonna cut a slightly wavy line. 
those can probably be used for something. Um, but yeah, I like the ones with the slightly wavy line better than the jagged lines. The jagged lines look like they need to fit perfectly together. Give it a shot, just cutting these straight to see what I like. I'm also going to try just gluing straight on. <laughs> see if it burns. Okay, so that didn't burn. So the trick to gluing it while it's still on you is to not use too much glue. If you use too much glue, then it's gonna hurt. So I should have shown me drawing this before, but I drew a spiral and then kind of like connected it like that. So now I'm gonna cut that out and then that's what's gonna go on my chest. And now I'm gonna push the heart into your chest. <laughs> that's a feedy. The heart of a <laughs> I thought that was gonna end up differently. <laughs> but you know what else? And so now I'm just going to keep applying pieces of magma all over my chest. I have most of the top of it done. I have come to some decisions. Let me explain about the suit first. So when I made this suit, I made it with a knit that was only a two-way stretch, not a four-way stretch like it needed to be. And so it just wasn't as stretchy and was kind of tight when I tried it on. On top of that, I started gluing these pieces onto it, which makes it stretch even less. So what I've decided is to not put any pieces on the back. It's not ideal. I'd prefer to have like a costume that you can see from any angle and still look good, but it is what it is. I'm not gonna be able to sit down. I'm not gonna be able to bend over or do anything in this costume if it has this magma lava on both sides. The other thing that I have decided, so this turtleneck, I want to kind of do flames going up to my head. It's this thing's on my head and this thing is going to have flames coming off and it has like a, uh, some flames. I don't know, I think I just like the way it looks. And I don't know, like I don't want an abrupt ending like right here, even though I specifically designed it so that this comes up high and then this comes down low and then you can't see where it stops, sort of, kind of. But I think I would still like something that kind of gradually fades. So I think I want some flames going up, starting from down here and then going up there. So. I need to design some flames that kind of like the bottom of it matches. 
See like the armpits are kind of coming undone. But yeah, I need to design some flames so that the bottom of them look kind of like what's happening down here and then the top of them look like flames. I think that's what I want to do. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna need to design some flames. I actually like the bottom of that, how it fits really a lot. So what I'm gonna do is kind of cut that down a little bit. I think, I think I like it. Ugh. So that's part of the problem is I keep doing that because like, I don't have a zipper back here yet, and so it keeps like kind of slipping off. And it just, it doesn't stretch very well. All right, so I'm just gonna do more of those flames. I'm going up my neck. I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> I don't have anything under here. I don't have anything on the back. So I still need to do this arm. show you what the bottom of me looks like. It still needs some work. I spray painted it black with that black thing and I tried to fade it up, but it just doesn't look the best. And then on the back, I couldn't, I couldn't spray paint my butt. So, um, yeah, I need to do some work down here, but from up here, it looks pretty good. I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I just I need to do this last arm. I kind of wanted a flame coming out of it, but I don't know if I want to get that far. So I'll start. I'll start up here and kind of work my way down. Because um, if I do a flame, then it'll be coming up my arm. Hey guys. So I have my leotard and. I took <laughs> I took out the Velcro and I added a zipper just because the Velcro kept scratching me and it was coming undone and I thought a zipper would hold better. So as you may or may not know, I hate, I, I'm not a good sewer. <laughs> and yeah, my zipper, I accidentally sewed shut. <laughs> I'm, I am the worst. I hate zippers. Like I, I would rather I would rather glue myself into this and I did consider it but I was worried that it would come loose so I figured I'll just go ahead sew in the zipper it'll be okay I messed up a couple of times obviously I messed up again still haven't gotten it right but anyway there's a zipper in there I may go back and fix that if I cannot fit my hips through this tiny little hole which I don't think I can. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now, since I need to take a break from the zipper, cause it's gonna drive me bananas if I have to do it again, I'm going to go ahead and dip dye this. I have some of this, and I'm just gonna follow the directions on the back. All right, so here is the finished product, like completely finished, but this is after I dyed the legs like I dip dyed it it made it a little bit darker but it didn't make it as dark as I wanted it but I was running out of time so what I did is I just wore the skirt over it anyway and then like kind of mixed in with the black and the gray of the skirt it wasn't as noticeable but I still I mean that's not you can still see through it what I would like to do moving forward is I would like to detach the legs off of here, like right around here, and get a pair of black leggings and put them here. And then where this belt lies is going to cover the line between the two. So that under here, it will be black, but up here, it will be orange and yellow. And then the belt will kind of hide where the two different pieces meet. So anyway, that is the finished leotard. 
So that about does it for how I made Takaz leotard. If you want to see how I make the mask and how I made the skirt, make sure you hit subscribe and click on the notification bell so you can get a notification when those two videos come out. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you like this channel, make sure you hit subscribe. If you have any comments or questions about this tutorial, go ahead and leave that in the description. Duh! In the in the comment section. <laughs> Go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next time. Deuces.